Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special presentation. Please welcome the creative director of NetherRealm Studios, Ed Boone. Wow, thanks. Hello, hello. Wow, thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, we, we thought this was a, a great opportunity to give you a one of the first looks at our new game that's coming up in 2013. Uh, one of the reasons we're so excited about showing you guys in particular this game is because it had, you know, obviously you guys know fighting games more than anybody in the world. And since the game doesn't come out until 2013, we really loved to get your first impressions, opinions, and whatnot on the game. So we're going to we're gonna give you a uh, first look at our fighting game called Injustice that's coming out next year. Okay, um, first thing to describe here is uh, we have a... One thing that separates this game from other games is our arenas and the roles that they play in the background. This is one thing that we really want to mix up the whole fighting game genre get an idea of a um, of how it's going to change the, the basic interactions of the event. First character is Superman here and the Flash. These are, these are going to give you a good example of the two types of characters that we have in this game. One's a power character, one's we're, we're calling a gadget character. First thing we're going to notice is our character models. You're going to notice the kind of detail that we've managed to get here. We have a lot of new lighting effects and new lighting engine in our in our fighting engine. Flash, you can see the kind of details that we're ever able to bring up with his, uh, his costume, his armor. And as we're expecting with any fighting games, you get a really good idea of the, of the, the basic movements. You see Superman moving. Okay, there, it goes. there it goes. Sorry about that. Superman has his... Uh, Flash has a dash move here. Superman has a number of moves he can do here. As, as you'd expect, you can co combine these moves together to get a um, to get your your own custom combos in there. Now, the one thing we really want to point out here is the environments. You notice that the environments are kind of being destroyed as they go along in the background here. You know, Superman and Flash are going to be fighting here with a um, give you a good idea of how you can actually use these environments. As we move on the left-hand side, we're going to notice Flash is going to release these two grenades that are on the ground here. Superman can actually pick these up and use them in the fight. This is like a specific to that, to that part of the arena here. Now as it's, we're going to see the fight moving over to the right side of the arena, we're going to notice this big red button here. And when you push this red button, you can actually launch these rockets over at Superman there, there. Now, obviously, we're going to limit these things, but Superman can actually jump over these and attack with Flash there. Another thing about arenas is they have multiple arenas in there. So you're going to see Superman's going to knock Flash through this barrier here, down into the bottom here. Landing on the ground here. So you have a whole new arena here for the characters to fight in. So you notice there's like this power generator hanging above the, uh, the arena here. Superman can actually jump up, grab this power generator, changing it. Now it becomes a hazard here. So you notice here, so Flash can knock up his opponent there, extending his combos into the uh, go there. Superman can do the same thing, knocking Flash up into the uh, electricity here. And again, these creating opportunities that you can't normally get in the fight. Next thing you notice is our, our arenas are expandable. Superman's actually going to knock Flash through this barrier here, which kind of reveals a new area in the background. Another interactable where he can grab these barrels, throwing them at Flash over here. Different, different characters throw them at different ways. So you're going to notice Flash here is going to dodge this one here. He's not a power character, so he actually just kind of rolls them along the ground there.
so this takes us to back to the transition that we want to see going back up into the original arena there with, with its own interactive object. Superman's going to knock Flash into this elevator here and proceed to kind of beat the crap out of him as this elevator takes him back up. Now you know, you're going to notice the meters in the bound there. Just like in Mortal Kombat, we have a number of functions that you can use for meters. You can, I admire your one of them is this wager you system. So you can actually you wager are. your meters against the other guy. See who really, how important is it for you to kind of win this conflict there. Or you can save up all your meters and kind of use it, releasing the kind of devastating big super combo on, the, on your opponent as well. Give you an idea of the, the, the kind of size and scope of uh, the, the super, super moves that have here. Obviously, Superman, some of you might have seen his, uh, his super move is not to be outdone by the Flash as well here. So. All right, so, so that, that's the first fight we're going to go here. We're going to give it a second here. What was that? Can they turn off the lights? Can they turn off the lights? They can't see the... Uh All right, sorry about that. We got the lights there. Okay, the sec this second fight here is going to give you a much better idea over... The second fight is going to give you a much better idea about how these characters actually use these background objects in different ways. We have these two different classes of characters. One we're calling power characters, which is going to be a Solomon Grundy here. And then the second one is going to be Batman, which is more of like the, the ultimate gadget character we have here. Okay, as we mentioned before, we have two classes of characters. Solomon Grundy is kind of what we're calling our super power, over-the-top power characters. Batman's more of like a grapple character. He obviously has his, his batarangs, which he can use as a number of different ways. Batman also has this, this grapple gun. Solomon Grundy actually uses the knives in his back to actually attack his opponents with... Batman, on the other hand, has this grapple gun you can use. You notice the car here. Um, one, this is one of the ways that it's, different characters use it in different ways. Batman can actually grab his opponent, slamming his head into the car there. Or he can actually throw his batarangs, which kind of like from a distance, using as an explosive device. Solomon Grundy's a lot more direct power character, uses a much more direct approach, can actually pick up the car, slamming it as on, on his opponent. So you get an idea of the different kind of uses for, for these actual backgrounds there. Now Solomon Grundy has a number of kind of these, these crazy chain throws. 
And what a lot, a lot, some of the more casual players aren't going to notice that you can actually chain through and actually buff up his abilities depending on which level of the chain you're going through. So again, you see Batman throwing his Batarangs, kind of igniting this hover car above him over there. Solomon Grundy, a lot more direct approach, just kind of picks it up and slams it on him there. And again, giving you an idea of how big these arenas are. There's literally multiple city blocks long. So Solomon Grundy's knocking Batman through this building, flying up on top. Lands on top of this roof here, and then you imagine there's a, there's an entire different palette of objects that these characters can use. And again, keeping in mind that the power characters use them some way, the gadget characters use them other way, and that's really kind of what we're really using to mix up this whole kind of fighting game formula here. Is we really want to kind of distinguish between the different characters and the different arenas that are in there. Now I'll give you another example of the Batman can actually use his his bats sur surrounding him in a number of different ways. Now he's going to throw Salman Grundy down through this building into a third arena down at the bottom. <laughs> he's obviously okay. And again, the thing to keep in mind is, you know, each one of these arenas has a different palette of objects that they, both characters can use in different ways. So, landing on the top here, we're back at our original arena here. Now we're going to give you an idea of some of these super moves that the character can do. Each character kind of fires off his super move in a different way. We really wanted to kind of distinguish between the different gameplay styles of the characters. So they have different methods of doing Batman's right here is like a parry move that he actually triggers. And he's actually, it's using a little more of a defensive way, kind of like Johnny Cage was from uh, Mortal Kombat. Whereas Solomon Grundy, again, he's kind of like he comes in this different mode and then he, he, he continues to... Uh, he pulls out his tombstone over his head and knocks it over. So again, this gives you an idea of kind of like the, the overall pacing of the, of the fighting in the game. Again, the game comes out 2013. We'd love to hear your thoughts. We're really, you know, you guys in particular are kind of like the kings of fighters. We'd really like to get your, uh, your feedback so we can, you know, kind of incorporate it into the game. Thanks a lot for coming for this demonstration. Appreciate it.